Welcome to another episode of Matt's Nightmares. And today we are playing Camp Sunshine, which came out, I don't know, like a few months ago? Um, if I could describe it as anything, it would be like Earthbound meets Friday the 13th. So, kiddo, are you looking forward to summer camp? We're getting close. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Is that Liam? Wasn't an easy choice for your father and I to separate. I'm sorry, really, I am. Broken home! All alone! Papa Roach, no one? Ugh. I know, Mom. I know you're doing your best for us. Oh, look, we're almost there. Never mind you, child! Let's get you checked in. Hi there, welcome to Camp Sunshine. That's actually what it's called. They actually named a camp that. Uh, now that you're here, we'd like to go over our rules. No biting. We have an open door policy during the day around camp. However, we do lock the doors at night for our campers' welfare. Why? What's outside? Hey, good to meet you. I'm Markiplier. I'll be your roommate for your stay at camp. Let's get your things put away and we you can say goodbye to your mom. Okay, baby, I'll see you next week. I'm gonna drink wine. Bye! Love you. Call me every day. Ugh. There's a bit of parchment in here. Let's take a look. I don't have a Super Nintendo controller. But that's cool. I like that. Alright, this is bullshit. <laughs> Fair enough. Good night, Jack. See you in the morning. Night. All right, so that was day one completed. I think I did. <laughs> Holy shit, what the hell was that? <laughs> Liam's not liking this. Liam doesn't like his first day. There's no Vitas. This is good music. Jack, are you there? Oh, I'm moving little pink PJs. Oh shit. Okay, what can I what can I look at? Damn, this cover won't open. Motherfucker. I found my flashlight. Oh nice. What's this? My suitcase. Let's get change out of these j <laughs> I like this kid. Now I look like a Pokemon trainer. That's cool. Is blood. There's blood everywhere. Fuck! <laughs> Uh, straightforward. Uh, where the fuck is Jack? Uh, instantly. Instantly. My mind goes to Jack. I uh, just fuck, there's blood everywhere. Alright. That's it. Suited and booted. I need to go out and find a counselor. That is a good plan, young man. Jez. Oh, Jesus! What the hell is that? I think I better hide. <laughs> Teddy Ruxpin. Whatever that is, it seems to have attracted. Uh, it seems attracted to my flashlight. I better be careful. Uh, now, where the hell do I find a counselor? Fair enough. I'm sure the counselor hut was around here. Watch out for the stick! Shit! <laughs> All right, he's auto running. I'm not doing that. Okay, so so this is uh, our antagonist. Damn, that was close. Motherfucker. Ah, map. Let's take a look. Oh, oh my god. It's Camp Crystal Lake. What the hell? That's half a body. 50%. I need to find some help. Alright, let's check this place out. Uh, it's the fire escape route. That's all. That's all it is. Lots of blood. That's fine. Perfect. A little rest. <laughs> okay. I was actually going to sleep there. Let's save. Why not? Can't say on this bed doesn't really look comfortable. I'll need to find a better one to rest in. I just fucking got up. That's a lion for most people. I just got up. Oh, there's the other half. Can't investigate this. There are more. It says there are more. And there are blood trails leading to the right. Is this anything? There's a torn page on this desk. Let's see what it says. 20th June 1964, what a happy day. Myself and my wife Wendy have just landed our dream summer job as count counselors at Big Bear Summer Camp. What married couple? Their dream jobs are... Ugh. 
We are both so excited, and even though we've been driving for hours, we can't wait to see our new home. What's even more exciting is that Wendy has been having little flutters all day long, so it could happen any day now. Err, period. Nope. She got that big baby bump. Can't believe we're here, Wendy. We finally made it to Big Bear Lake. Why do they call it Big Bear Lake? Because of all the Wolverines. Creepy Bear. This place is enormous. Can't wait to get started making it ours. Look, man just even left us a sunshine teddy bear, too, for our little one. Perfect. Absolutely perfecto. That sunshine teddy bear might be important. Maybe I need to find it. That's cool. Like, the, the protagonist uh, just kind of gives his thoughts on flashbacks. Wait, can you hear that? It sounds like it's coming from the island. Oh, what the fuck is this? All right, we're, we're just dancing it out, I guess. They're still asleep, though. Jacob, wake up. My water just broke. Our baby's on the way. You ruined the bed! Off. Okay, baby. Let's go and have our baby. Baby. Let's do that. I'm sure it won't end up in tragedy. What the hell? That didn't even make any sense. Whoever wrote this seems pretty committed. <laughs> Maybe there is a way to stop this. Maybe there are answers in these diary pages. But for now, I need to get help. So avoid sticks. Don't use my uh, fleshlight if I can avoid it. Uh, let's try here. Okay, a person. Help! There's dead bodies every. Finally, they sent someone to help. What? How are you still alive? Have you come about the heating? What? No. Good. Well, I haven't had any heating since I arrived here. It's just not good enough. Surely you've seen the blood everywhere. Don't call me Shirley. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. My parents have paid me have this luxury cabin. And all I've seen so far is dirt and shit. I mean, look, I don't even have a mattress. Casper mattresses. Remember, folks. Wooly is a large, large man, and only a Casper mattress can support his orbital frame. He muttered something about the boiler being in the southeast of the camp. Get to it, obvious other camper. Like, fuck you. Go and fix that boiler, boy. <laughs> what the fuck? I should probably leave the fire extinguisher alone, especially after last time. <laughs> What the hell? Nothing. This fucking body gave me nothing. I think I'll leave her alone, not poker. The stick. Oh, wait, what's that? It's nothing. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? I've scored this place. Get out. Holy shit. <laughs> are you going to help me? Not a chance. You could be that bear for all I know. I can't trust anyone in this camp. I turned me back for a few seconds. My best friend was gone. Please let me in. There's a killer out there. I'll trust you if you help me out. I've been working on this organic fucking nerd that I think will stop all of this. I found this weird piece of paper at the back there. I know this is going to work. It didn't look like a diary page, did it? Look, let me help you. What do you need? Not that it, now that I think of it, it did. Regardless, I need eight more stems of English mace. You have probably seen the white flowers around the camp. Give me those. And we're welcome to come in for <laughs> All right, counselors, which, well, let's see. Let's root through the trash. You never know. I found a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> Should be careful, though. It's diary page. Diary page? No, no. No diary page? Fair enough. I found nothing. I found some batteries. <gasps> All right, I guess. Oh, shit. Hopefully the fucking bear doesn't burst out of there. Just because we're here. If he's in this room, that's fucking horseshit. Random. Wow, it's a tennis player scratched. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Why am I checking things? Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. See you later, fucker. So I'm gonna go straight down here. Let's have some fun. Uh, oh. No fun, no fun, no fun, no fun. Uh, cause it was so, ooh, a coin. A memor- <laughs> Oh, shit! I found a quarter. Oh, this food is all rotten. It's disgusting. Perfect, a little rest. Why don't I save? Why not?
some shit fucking happening there. This looks like uh, a Lost Boys poster. It's a poster for sexy vampire kids. I hope the kids in this film turn out okay. Oh, that's definitely a Lost Boys. Is he, is he here? I feel like that music only appears when the the bears. Ooh, books. What's this one? Fifty Shades of Off White. No thanks. Dead body. I'm so sorry for what I have to do. Oh shit! I found some food. No idea how long it's been here. Sitting here though. Okay, but the the dude is here. Look at Chucky. It says we're friends till the end, remember? I love all the little horror tropes already. There's nothing on the TV and the power button is broken, Joy. I haven't got time. Ain't got time to sit down. I can't reach these books. You'd think in a summer camp for teenagers, they make the reading material closer to get. I am gonna get you. Uh, and uh, get to that. That was actually kind of... This is scary. What the hell happened? You're still breathing? I need to get you some help. No, leave me. Save her. But but you're hurt. Leave me. Save her. This this is really scary, actually. Don't let him see you. Oh my god. Uh. I've been here so long. I've been here so long. Oh. Oh man. I'm coming. Just hold on. Please. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be a death trap. Oh God! Please just. I can see you, please. What? Why? How can you see me? Please come. Oh. No. She's already dead. I'm so sorry. Oh no! I found a diary page. Whew. Let's see what it. Oh, shit, I need to get out of here. Oh, fuck. Unfortunately, I can kind of remember how to get out. Oh. No, you don't. Sunshine time! I can smell your fear, kid. Oh. Don't you dare oh no! Move. No, 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 no! Go in that little hole, kid! Do anything! Hey, bear, finish me off! Let's have some fun. Oh no! He sacrificed himself! Found a diary page to see what it says. <laughs> Cancel your escape directly into reading. 21st of June, 1964. I'm so sorry. You couldn't do anything to save her. Oh, no. It's almost like she took one look at your son and her, her heart stopped. <laughs> Why did you say that? Nurse Johnson! We've told you about this in training! I'm sorry. I've just never seen anything so fucked up. My only condolence we have is that your son is very healthy. You should take some solace in that. We'll leave you for a little while. Again, we're sorry on how badly we fucked up. Isaac. Oh, Isaac, what are we going to do? I have to stay for three days so they can teach me how to take care of you. But why do I sense no sadness in your eyes? My beautiful Wendy, I don't know how I will go on without you here. 
I promise you that I will do everything I can to make sure Isaac is looked after. I'll keep your hospital bracelet in yellow font close to remind me of you every day. You gave me everything. I love you and always will. Huh, why is that Wendy's hospital bracelet really sticks out to me in this page? All right. Oh, Jesus. 28th of June, 1964. In the name of God, the merciful Father, we commit the body of Wendy Illerman to the peace of the grave. From dust you came, and to dust you shall return. I shall leave you for a moment. Please stop by the church if you would like to talk. All right, thanks, Father. Thanks for all the solace. My beautiful Wendy, I can't believe you are gone. You are my absolute everything. I like I love a hand to burst out no, okay. I stayed in talk with the priest until night fell. He made me realize even with his mother gone, Isaac will need more than will need me more than ever. <gasps> Death That's awesome. Okay. We learned a lot. So this is Frog Cabin. Oh, God. Everyone's fucking dead. I couldn't find anything except for his wallet. His name was Chris, and he seemed like a really... <laughs> Alright. I found a key with a ladybug key ring. Huh. I don't see one. There's a bunny. There's a frog. Oh, it's all the way up near the laundry room. Kind of looks like a ladybug. Detrimental. Lara Croft. Oh no! Ah, uh, ah! Uh. I what? I can't. I can just poke them. That's horrible. Kind of. There you are. Oh God! Damn! Nothing in there. I think he's down over here. Ah, oh, fuck. It, it, it does have that, that Friday the 13th kind of thing of, of him just kind of wandering around. Alright, let's 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 go into this room and figure out what the fuck's going on. Alright, let me just check. Hang on, I'm not putting my hands in there. Fuck that. Who the hell is this? It must be the uh, janitor. You're alive! I haven't told you you need to fix the boiler. <laughs> what the hell? Don't startle me, kid. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. I get a little tense when the boiler goes out. Uh, yeah, I heard. Can you fix it? Me? I can't even open the door to the reset panel. <laughs> Fuck. There's a lot of blood coming out from there. Bastard thing. <laughs> Alright, so what are we going to do, dude? I don't suppose you'd be willing to go down there and fix Fuck no. Why? I would, but rats are enormous and they scare me a lot. Me? I guess so. There's an access letter down there into the boiler. If you can fix the pipes, you can press the manual reset button. Thanks, man. You'll save my... Like, fuck off. Like, why are you the guy? Oh, down? Okay. Check your computer! What you got? You got nothing, actually. And a little Freddy sweater. Yo, what type what type of dude runs around in a Christmas sweater? It's a green red striped jumper, a bit tattered and burnt. It's not bad. The store seems to be welded shut. A lot of blood coming out of it though. This guy ain't got anything for me. How's the boiler maintenance going? <sighs> Fine. Alright, that's the boiler. Puzzles. These little ratties, though, they're cute. I miss my rats so much. Puzzle done, perhaps. Uh, yes. I have literally no idea. Uh, okay, maybe this will work. <laughs> Tap it. Holy shit, it worked. Now I'll go back and get that diary page. All right, that worked. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
I, I like this kid a lot. He, know, he knows what's up. Oh, God, geez, I'm so sorry for what I have to do. What does he have on him? I found nothing. Maybe the head. Maybe he kept something in his head. Oh, man, he got you too. I found a can of blood. Uh, I guess we can make our way to that girl. Let's just go to the, 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 the puppy. The, the puppy lounge. That looks like a fucking hole. Oh, shit. There's a stick right there. Almost got me, but not quite. You have to get up a lot early in the morning. Well, not that early in the morning to, to beat Matt. It's, it's actually quite easy. Uh, I found a, a key with a cat. I found a key with a cat key ring. Found a cat with a key. It's a southern flying squirrel. That looks like the poster for Dirty Dancing. We'll see what it says when he looks at it. It's a poster for Flirty Prancing. Now my cup of tea, I can tell you that. So I have... Uh, there's a cat. A cat. A cat. So I have a cat key ring. We're going to go that way. Let's try it. Jeez, this place is fucked up. What the fuck? This poor guy had his eyes and mouth cut open. Gross! But wait, it's a Big Bear history book. Maybe there's something in there that's useful. This guy won't be reading it anytime soon. Alright, let's check that out then. Inventory, Big Bear history book. It's a book all about Big Bear Lake. It's a book all about Big Bear Lake. It's a, it's, it's a book can't I can't I can't do anything with it so that that was useless what the hell finally some warp thank you now take your horrible letter it's in the cupboard there thanks for moving slightly out of the way Jesus found a diary page let's see what it says sure I'm interested in these uh 3rd of June 1964 I am back at camp with Isaac and the first batch of children have just arrived for the summer it's just Isaac and I. We're getting along fine. Although, I miss Wendy with every fiber of my being. Welcome, campers. We're so happy you're here with us at Camp Sunshine. This guy's too happy, though. That's the problem. My son Isaac and I are stopping by every cabin to make sure you're all settling in okay. Remember, tomorrow morning there will be a fantastic welcome meeting in the auditorium. Please stop by. Any questions? What time is lights out? Lights out is at 9 p.m. anymore. That was Cranky Construct. Did you see him there? Do you have extra storage for our pants suits? For our pants suits? Um, no? Last one. I'm allergic to peanuts. That's not a question. Thanks, kids. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Those kids are fucked. Later that night. Oh, that baby. Look at that. Look at that buff baby. What the hell? Not again. What is this thing? What is the story? It has to be the campers messing around. Does it, though? What the hell is making all that racket? Yeah. They're all asleep, dude. That's strange. What's this book about the history of Big Bear doing here? Uh, there's a history book. It could hold more answers, which I already fucking have. Good job, I've already found it! Thank you, game! Smart design. They're all fast asleep. This is getting fucked up. Okay. Huh. You have anything to say about that, sir? No? Alright, let's see if uh, now Big Bear History Book will yield any- No! Who? Look at this fucking room. This has some answers, hopefully. This isn't anything. I'm not a lot. Looks like a whoopee kitchen, but. Time for a little nap, I think. Why don't we save? Whoever was in here was clearly trying to put together all of these clues. There's a photograph of a woman. This looks like a great room. Let's go in here. Oh, Jesus, that rat. Huh. What is this thing? It's glowing. Okay, it's an old broken crib. I found a set of batteries. Lots of fucking batteries. I'm not at a loss for those. Unless I want to wear a Camp Sunshine uniform, there's nothing in there. It's on a shelf, I can see that, but for one reason, I will still check it. Yeah, you got me, you got me, game, you got me, you got me. Nothing useful here. Alright, so that's... 
interesting because that seems to be where uh, that guy just maybe moved his crib from his son and just decided to leave it there in the storage bin, I guess. No, oh, black kid. Jack, the hell, nothing. So much black. I don't think I have time to sit down. I can't even move, feel my body right now. Ooh, look at me typing away. <laughs> uh, very good, very good. Oh, shit. Come here, kid. Uh. Oh, there you are. Uh. I see you. No, 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 no. Fuck off, sir. We're making our way. We're making our way at least to the east side of the camp. Uh, see if there's anything going on. I found some food. Gross. Gross garbage food. It's doing its own juices. I mean, this is like a diary page, but it won't let me. It's a pile of sweaters. I mean, who has this many sweaters? That's fucked up. I found a can of Blue Rat Energy Drink. And I see I found the poster for Mega Man 3? Could be 2 or 3. It's a poster for Magic Man. I love that game. It's almost as much as Snack Man. Aw. Fuck you. Oh, there you are. Oh, let me go! Ah. <laughs> oh, my portrait gets all fucked up. That's my health. Interesting, actually. My most checking things are obviously empty. Because I... Uh, Ew, gross, no thanks! <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna save in that bed. Hello, is someone there? Finally, a big beardo. So I can talk to them. And that looks like Back to the Future. It looks like Back to the Future. I'm stuck in this trap door. Help me out. Okay, this better not bite me in the fucking ass. It says, please beware of the trap door. <laughs> It's cold down here. Okay, dude. I'm fucking trying. Perfect. A little rest. <laughs> where, where? Okay, there's the trap door. Hello, are you down there? Oh, thank the spaghetti monster. <laughs> Look, he helped the brother out. Uh, what is about this camp where a kid has to help everybody out? Sure, why not? I jumped down here and then that bear came right at me and now I'm stuck. And the rematil down here is spooky as hell. Hang on, rematil? You mean a diary page? Yeah, it's weird and it creeps me out. Can you go into the woods to the west of the camp and get my toolbox from my shack? Very good. Very good. Who would leave a hockey mask out in the lake? That's stupid. That's... I Anyone that makes horror references, I like them. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Alright, that was, that was something. Damn it, these woods aren't on this map. Oh shit, so I have no map. Okay, we're gonna see whatever the fuck this this thing is. Well, hello, what have we here? It's a freaky voodoo doll looking thing. It's mine now. Okay. Creepy effigy. It does nothing. Yeah, I haven't heard any voice clips from those. So oh shit. Where are you going? Hey there, kid. What are you doing out here? It's not safe, you know. Yeah, I guess that. How are you still alive? I'm fine. I just finished my 18th cup of coffee. I'm pretty sure I can see Wi-Fi. I tell you what, this weird page I got here made me scared. A page? Do you mean a diary page? Sure do, sunshine. Can I have it? Not so fast, moonbeam. If you want it, you'll have to... Fuck off. I didn't help that guy that's trapped, though. That seems like the more pressing thing. Talk to the, hello, someone there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I got you out, dude. Oh, you're back already. Did you find my toolbox? Yes. I'm the best. Let me get like get out of here. Get the fuck out. I can hear you walking. I know. Thanks, kid. You're a lifesaver. I was saying duck down there. Oh, you're actually the most hidden motherfucker ever. Just had to dodge the bear. Met a caffeine monster. I'm fine, honestly. Can I have that diary page? I always keep my promises. Here, it's yours. A fucking useless scrap of paper. Nice one. <laughs> Thanks. Right, let me get back to my duties. Really? Tonight? Remember? Maniac, blood, killing. I'll be okay. I've got my toolbox now if I get stuck again. If you need anything, I'll be in the shack. Take her easy. <laughs> I'm going to find like a chopped off beard. I found a diary page. Let's see what it says. 
26 of June, 1965. Here I am at the start of the second summer season at Big Bear. In all honesty, hoping for a normal, rational six weeks. Another year, another set of campers all checked in. I'll be glad to see Isaac after all that work. My bet is that Isaac is 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 this creepy. What the fuck? Chumana, what's going on? I thought I told you about this mumbo jumbo. I'm sorry, Mr. Jacob. As I explained before, I am only protecting your son. There's absolutely nothing to fear. I'm not afraid. I'd just rather Isaac not be put through any undue stress. He's been through enough. This fucking toddler. You just need to stop it and please stop placing those beads around Isaac's neck. He'll choke. Chumana's beads seem important. Maybe they hold more clues to what the hell is going on. I understand, Mr. Jacob. I'll attend to tonight's menu. We have mutton stew and fry bread. There's my little man. Have you had a good day? At least you look happy. Whoa. Hello, Illuman residents. Mr. Illuman, the delivery from the butchers has just arrived. I'll be right there, Karen. Chumana, I have to leave to help out the camp. See you shortly. Look, she's just fucking dancing. A few hours later. Uh, there, that's the sauce done. Now to get the meat uh, put away earlier. All this is hard work. Uh, we should consider hiring a cook. And there he just trots down past the screen. Let's see what happens here. Puts on his little parka. What the hell? I just put all this way two hours ago and it's completely rotten. Something's definitely wrong. <gasps> I don't know what that is. Oh, wait, what? Where am I? Hang on, what's this? What the fuck? This is weird. Yeah. Welcome, Jazz. Who the f- What the hell? Who are you? And why do you know my name? This is not important. I have summoned you here as we need your help. You need my help. <laughs> you need yours. Then perhaps we can help each other. We have seen that you are seeking out the diary pages and we wanted to offer our services to stop this madness. We have sense a dark spirit growing in power. One uh, who will stop at nothing to be, be reborn. Man, being reborn fucking rules. The key to stopping this bloodshed is to discover the diary pages and the items mentioned within them. Like the beads that Chumana was wearing. These whole memories that the monsters simply cannot ignore... No matter how he tries, we know that these will ensure the path to its destruction. Once you've found them all, bring them back to me so I can transform them into their sacred form. This way we can stop this. What? Sacred? Only you can do this. Only a true hero could have survived this long. Take this necklace, wear it close so that we may continue to watch your progress. But it's broken. What the fuck? Stare into its fractured gemstone for a guiding hand on your journey. Our hopes rest with you. Now return to where you were. All right, I think that's the main setup there. Let's have some fun. Where? Oh no! <laughs> oh sh! Ah, <laughs> uh, it is Liam. That looks like fucking Liam. Sorry, Lamb and Bean. So yeah, uh, Camp Sunshine. It's pretty fun. Uh, it's on Steam. Don't know. Uh, how much it is exactly on the top of my head. I think it's like $10 or less, but uh, it's pretty cool. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this latest episode of Matt's Nightmares.